parents square. Today we're going to talk about how to create a group. Maybe you are needing to create a group for an afternoon or a morning club, or maybe you would like to even create a group for your sports team. Down towards the bottom, we're going to see participate. When you see participate and hover over it, your groups are going to pop up. I'm going to click on my groups. From here, you're gonna see all of the groups that you are a part of, but you will also be able to create a new group. Once I click new group, I'm then gonna see two options, new static group or new auto update. For this, we are going to choose a new static group. The new auto update will sync with PowerSchool overnight, and that is not what we want our group to do. This is a group that we are creating. Once I'm here, I can then create and display my name that I want for my group. I can add in my description and I can also set the privacy settings, whether I wanted to set to public, private, or even confidential. I can also add a new owner. That can be a co-teacher that you might have for your morning or afternoon club, or maybe it's even an assistant coach within your building. Next, I'm then going to choose to add members by selecting students. Once I click here, I can simply search by student name. Once you've added all of the students to your group, you will simply click save. Now, once that saves, you will see that that group has now been added back to where your groups were listed. When I hover over my group, I'm going to see the gear wheel. This is where I can go in and manage that group again if I need to. Maybe I need to add a student or delete a student. I can do that from this tab. Just please make sure that you click save at the end to make sure it's saving any changes that you make. If you have any questions about creating groups, please reach out to your technology integration coach.